Thank you very much. So briefly, I just wanted to greet the initiative and the academic uh, discussion, the fourth Congress of the United Macedonian Diaspora, and compliments to the colleagues that very thoughtfully considered and uh, um, envisage these uh, studies because they are complementing one another. So the start of the Balkan Wars designates the end of the established principle of status quo in the international relations that has been carefully maintained in the past period and in the majority of the previous century by the great forces through the politics of uh, agreements and negotiations. Even though localized on the Balkan, they will have strong implications over the later on um, occurrences on a European and global plan resulting not only by shifting the borders of the Balkan states, but for, with transfer and shift of the spheres of influence of the involved ones and the interested parties. It is well known the fact that the Balkan wars are a result of particular occurrences and processes whose roots are found deeply in the 19th century and address the uh, creation of the national Balkan states and the politics which define their actions and the positioning, as well as the interrelations, as well as the relations with the great forces and with the um, Ottoman Empire. Their subject interest is continuously East Macedonia as a desired territory whose population with different means and methods of action should be attracted and convinced that there aren't any separate uh, lingual, ethnical, cultural and national features, but that with centuries was and is one of the Balkan neighboring countries. And that function is the so-called propaganda that after the uh, strong activities of a cultural, uh, educational, and religious plan for years, they act through the irregular armed formation on the soil of Macedonia. That makes the position of the Macedonian population particularly difficult. Whereas the relationship between the Balkan states are complicated and burdened by serious inter disagreements and great mistrust. Yet the joint interests when it comes to conquering Macedonia and uh, also knocking down the Ottoman Empire rule will prove a common ground for action. I'm going to talk about the negotiations and agreements for creating the Balkan alliance and the aspiration towards Macedonia. The approximation of the Balkan states when it comes to uh, the Balkan wars will have its basis in the previous attempts for establishing uh, cooperation and inter uh, relation and inter support initiated by one another party. So the idea of a Balkan alliance can be located in the can be located in the 60s of the 19th century when the Serbian government provides shelter and support to the Bulgarian revolutionaries. Actually, that initiative for such uh, uh, joint efforts comes from the Russian party as well and results with um, the Bucharest Treaty signed on the 14th of January 1867 by the uh, Duke Mikhailo Brenovic and the representatives of the Bul uh, Bulgarian uh, Immigrant Committee in Bucharest. Such Serbian and Bulgarian um, agreement did not um, find its positive echo in the Bulgarian intellectuals and the reasons were the pretensions and the aspirations towards Macedonia. So in 1891, back then Greek Prime Minister Hari Laos Trikupis suggested uh, composition of one Bulgarian Greek Serbian alliance that was not well accepted neither from the Bulgarian neither uh, by the Serbian side. The reason was the rivalry uh, for the occupation of Macedonia. So the inter Balkan joining an agreement is a significant period after the uh, Young Turkish Revolution and the annex of Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1908. Somewhere in 1909, uh, the context and the communication between the Balkan entities on various grounds is intensified. And uh, of course, the Russian diplomacy is here very important. As a more um, prominent figures back then are the Bulgarian diplomat Dmitry Zov, uh, 
with origin from Macedonia and the back then Serbian Minister for Foreign Affairs Milan Milanovic. In relation to this, the Russian Council Guikovic, in its confidential letter dated 7th of October 1909, states that the conversation for the Balkan affairs, the back then uh, Bulgarian diplomatic representative in Rome, uh, Rizov, identified the Serbian minister Milovanovic as a fighter for the idea of um, joining together the um, the interest of Bulgaria and Serbia. Later on, when uh, the Russian representative met with Milovanovic, the Serbian minister diplomatically stated that it's, he will uh, consent to that uh, the joint um, rejection of certain conquering intentions toward Macedonia can assist uh, in the attempts to introduce the peace. So the great question and the Bulgarian and Turkish relations and um, make the Greeks and the Bulgarians to be more persistent when it comes to forgetting their arguments over Macedonia and to focus their forces on fighting the Turks. Also, the churches have certain disputes. Uh, the Russian diplomat Cherikov concerning this situation says that uh, it is difficult to judge when it comes to the church political reconciliation and the conclusion is the following. This reconciliation will uh, change thoroughly the relationship of the existing national forces of the Balkan Peninsula and in Macedonia in particular to the benefit of Russia. I wouldn't like to go into all of the abstracts. He's just saying that uh, this coming together of the Balkan peoples is very important because that would mean strengthening of the uh, of Russia in favor of the state, and that will diminish the influence in the Balkans. As the tension grows globally, uh, of the countries grouped in two uh, two blocks. The Greeks are towards the Aegean part, especially towards uh, Crete and Epir. Bulgaria does not hide its aspiration towards uh, uh, Trace, and uh, Serbia is obviously interested in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and subject of interest of Montenegro are the northern parts of Albania. So Macedonia becomes the focus of Balkan aspiration, and it is being... Um, confirmed in the negotiations for final delivery of the, the realization of the Balkan agreements between separate separate Balkan states. So the Balkan politicians now openly start to draw the new borders, starting from their projections. So the uh, famous Serbian politician and leader of the radical party, Nikola Pašić, in a conversation with the Russian diplomat from the summer, uh, in the summer 1911, in, uh, directly before uh, taking up the duty of uh, president of the government of the kingdom of, the, of Serbia states the reason that would make Serbia to engage into war with, with the Turks and that is when the Bulgarians will start a war with Serbia and if Austria and Bulgaria uh, enters the Novo Pazarski Sanjak area. So um, these are the borders that asks, and these are this can be seen here in the screen. The borders that are asked from the territory of Macedonia. So the negotiations finally lead to conclusion of Serbian, Serbian and Bulgarian agreement in February and March 1912, and the Russian um, imperial authority uh, assesses that uh, it is obliged to contribute towards the affirmation of the uh, of the Balkan and the peaceful unite uh, the peaceful unification of both countries also such agreement it uh, to great extent will satisfy the Bulgarian requirements for the majority of Macedonia and not by accident, the fall of 1912 will radically change the tone by which they notified the Bulgarian military units, stating that the Allies are now 
uh, engaging into a war under this common symbol, the cross. Contrary to that, the conduct caused um, dissatisfaction in the military circles, including the head of the uh, headquarters of the Serbian army, the General Radomar Putniks, um, and taking into account the, cl the clearly uh, decla declared uh, attitudes of the Serbian requirements when it comes to aspirations of Macedonia, Pasic considered that um, with this Serbia will actually um, give away some of the Serbian areas for which she wouldn't like to give away even if uh, Serbia is left without that contract. So it's interesting to emphasize also that in the later period, the Greek-Bulgarian uh, agreement concluded in March, in, so in May 1912, uh, not a single article um, tackles the question of division of Macedonia. In relation to this, the president of the Bulgarian uh, People's Assembly, Danev, stated, actually we had two problems which we couldn't overcome. The first one was the need of a time for such a thing to come to an agreement with Serbia. I told you that for months we had certain negotiations. We didn't have any reason to suppose that the Greeks will be easier uh, negotiating parties in order to resolve this issue. Secondly, we feel that uh, the bordering between us and the Greeks will be uh, possible only if we give away to Saloniki. And as being assessed by Richard Hall, the uh, question of the division of the um, Turkish territories is ha happening mostly uh, following the, the, the actually uh, Bulgarian, Bulgarian uh, party that asked for alliance with the Greeks in order to secure the assistance of the Greeks Navy against the Turks. Yet with the conclusion, so because I don't have a lot of time, I just wanted to focus on several important issues that talk about the idea of the autonomy of Macedonia. Uh, it was mentioned here that, and I just wanted to say that, the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the back then Minister of Foreign Affairs, Alexander Zvoisky, in, its, uh, in one letter of November 1909, um, convey the opinion of some Bulgarian uh, intellectuals consider that by the disintegration of the uh, Ottoman Empire, Macedonian as a baseline that is as, as uh, a subject of constant conflict should uh, be left within its designated framework, that is the borders, and later on will have to receive autonomy within the borders of the San Stefani Agreement. And also there is another quote uh, saying that uh, the annexation of parts of territory of Macedonia by the Bulgarians is only temporary and later on uh, they would ask they, or they would like to see Macedonia being a part of uh, their country. So Nikola Kirov Maisky an exceptional revolutionary, dramatic uh, writer. In his memoirs, Pages of My Life, says that the idea for uh, joining Macedonia towards Bulgaria had numerous and serious adversaries and opponents, not only in Bulgaria, but all Balkan states opposed to this, as well as all European governments with all the great forces. These ideas and aspirations are present for decades. And I just wanted to mention one memorandum that is dispatched to the great forces a quarter of a century before this. And the founders of the Secret Macedonian Committee, now Mevor and Costa Grupce, say that the resolution of the Macedonian question will not be to the benefit of the Macedonian people, but it will finally calm down the conflicts and the um, disputes of the Balkan states 
and that will be reconciliation of the Balkan tensions and will also contribute towards prevention of the potential uh, risk or there is the threat to the European peace. And again, Nikola Kiromaisky says that in one of its one of the chapter of the memoirs so very symbolically said from slave from one slavery into another slavery he is quite disappointed disappointed in uh, the action of the balkan state why the ultimatum to the turks is imposed at this particular moment we know that Whenever we have agreements or negotiations um, in between or among two and more states, usually that's on a third country's expense. What will be our role there? Would we have even more devastating slavery than we had under the Turks? We will be condemned by our brothers, which are not brothers. Krste Petkov Misirkov is a prominent figure when we discuss about the autonomous state of our country. An Autonomy of Macedonia, a book published 1st of August 1912, says that uh, talks about the fact that the Balkan states now should utilize the diplomatic approach in order to liberate Macedonia because that would be the most fair resolution of the Macedonian question that is the light motive of resolution of the Balkan disputes as well so that will not be to the benefit of the Macedonian people but it will be to the benefit of maintaining the European peace thank you For chronological events which led to the start of the negotiations of the Balkan states concerning interrelation, as we heard from the referent, from the first attempts to form certain alliances, first for the independence for personal interests, and then one. Uh, against each other, they have conflicting of interest. What unifies them all is Macedonia, which everybody has passed against. And uh, at the end, Macedonia is the unifying factor that that conflict. I would like to say that that the first Balkan War is the first one in which. Uh, Balkan peoples were together in one uh, war and led uh, and uh, fought against one uh, enemy in the history. Gushevska also talks about the role of Russia, which is key of key importance in this period because of its interests towards global policy in terms of uh, Austro-Hungaria. Also, uh, she writes about the interests of small Balkan countries, they all must have a certain sponsor which supports them in their demands, especially Russia, which is uh, acts like arbitrary concerning these uh, negotiations and contracts. The voice of the domicile peoples like Maeski, Evro, and Grupcha and Misirikov, which with their memorandum tried to uh, attract uh, European attention towards Balkan states in, in reference to the solution of the Macedonian issue. And it is not only a Balkan issue, it is an European issue. Thank you, Mr. Cheperganov. Are there any questions? Yes. I want to ask you. 
something about the idea of uh, Autonomous Macedonia at the conference in London. Because I understood from uh, source that this uh, project was at the time on the diplomatic map as a solution to, to the peace here in Balkan. Uh, why? Because, for example, the Russians don't, didn't want to uh, annex uh, Macedonia to Bulgaria because the big Bulgaria as friend of uh, the Austro-Hungarian Austro Empire was not a good uh, project for Russia and another. But please tell me somebody, one great power or small Balkan state proposed in London conference, at London conference this project because I didn't find till now and maybe you can help me. Because I want to put the Romanian actions at London and Bucharest in the general context. I don't know that somebody asked for Macedonian Autonomous State in London conference. Do you know somebody? I talk about the London conference, but you know what? The London conference and, and the Bucharest conference, the name Macedonia is not mentioned. They just talk about territory which is supposed to be territory, uh, really, really a um, nameless territory which is to be uh, divided. Simply, they do not talk about that idea. The Ottoman uh, government, facing uh, their defeat, tr tries at the conference to promote certain idea of autonomous Macedonia, but it is too late. So war actions uh, already take place and it is like the last straw uh, of the Ottoman Empire to grab, to, to cling to this territory that they have left in the European part. So we have memorandums sent by Chupovsky, the Macedonian colony in Petrovgrad. They sent memorandums, but at that point, nobody is ready to listen to that. Even when the American uh, President Wilson tries at least to, in these territories which are divided and which they are aware that there is one in the population that belongs to them, to these states, when they ask for, uh, for guarantee of human rights, they are not ready even to do that. And the moment when they divide Macedonia at the London conference when the reshaping is done by the Bucharest Treaty. Actually, Macedonia identity entity subject, Macedonian national subject is divided into three, st among three states. Simply none of, none of these states has no sense for such thing. Nor, the, nor do the great forces. The Premier, Premier Mr. Gray is asked in the British Parliament, one MP asks him, what do you think? Are there Macedonians in Macedonia? Who are these people? Who do they self-determine themselves? And he goes around the bush, depends who is asked, what are their inclinations? So if you read the diplomatic reports, they are aware that Macedonian people exist and they have their distinct uh, linguistic and cultural s symbols, but identity. But there is no sense uh, for that. So my colleague Kotlarov, I think, will add up to this issue because I went with my paper up to the Balkan uh, Wars, and I don't know if I answered your question. Thank you. Maybe tomorrow or next day is to help me with bibliography, because I want to know uh, you, uh, your papers, on, uh, of, uh, of course, of Macedonian papers about this subject. Thank you very much.